Social media is a complex landscape of multiple platforms and a lot of different personalities. So how do you go about making your time useful and most efficient when you are promoting your projects? I have some ideas, so let's talk about one. Welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. This is the 14th video in the 90 day vlog marathon for changelings. And I wanted to talk about a couple of things today. One is fun and not business as usual, but also not business really. And the other one is about social media. As we all know, there are a lot of platforms for social media, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Steam. I mean, even Spotify is kind of its own little social network once you get into, you know, looking for people to follow and sharing music and whatnot. So it's a little overwhelming when thinking about your strategy for crowdfunding. One of the things that you need to do long in advance of your crowdfunding operation is to build a list of people, social media profiles, influencers, whatever you want to call them, uh, that you can communicate with and hopefully reach them to spread your message, to spread what you're all about, to pump your movie to get people excited about it, but it takes a lot of research to distill all that information into something usable. I mean, you have to keep track of not only the accounts, but also groups, uh, also hashtags. Think about the number of hashtags you can use to describe a short film. You hashtag film, short film, short horror film, horror film, short, uh, short movies, movies, uh, obviously changelings, filmmaking, filmmaker, director, producer, writer. These hashtags alone and in combination with each other will allow you to reach your audience. You're essentially allowing these, these social media platforms to index your material and present it in a much more efficient fashion. So when I click on a hashtag, that tells the various systems to present to you uh, any information or any, any post that has that hashtag. So it's a very quick way of people to discover and share information. So how do we get everything into one place to sort of create a command center for your social media? How do you best orchestrate and find and communicate with and reach out to people that you want to connect to your project. Well, what I'm doing is creating a spreadsheet that has uh, an array of personalities and accounts that uh, are in the horror or science fiction genre or, or that deal in independent cinema or short films. And I'm parsing those out into the spreadsheet so that I can say, okay, I know that these five accounts deal with gory horror or they're really into sci-fi, so maybe this post is more for the sci-fi crowd, or maybe this post is more for the filmmaking crowd, or maybe this post is really for the hardcore horror fans. So I'm building this database so that when I crowdfund, I can aim my posts to a very specific set of people. I'm breaking things down to, into not only categories of social networks, whether it's Twitter or Facebook or Steam, but also I'm creating groups of hashtags. So like on YouTube and Instagram, you can have dozens and dozens of hashtags if you wanted. But on say like Steam or Minds.com, you're only allowed five hashtags. So with Steam, I've got to create various groups of hashtags in order to best uh, focus my posts to the people I think that will most that, that, that the post will resonate most with. Uh, but so if I'm gonna do a photo set, and that photo set is revol revolves around changelings. One of the hashtags is going to include photography because I like to shoot with my 5D. It might include the camera that I'm shooting with, and that'll be on top of things like filmmaking or filmmaker or director or horror or changelings. With Steam and with Minds, I have to be very careful with the hashtags that I'm gonna select, but it becomes tedious to have to remember every hashtag. So I'm gonna create several groups of hashtags so that if I'm making a post, I'm like, well, this is, more along the lines of cinematography or photography, I have a group of hashtags that focuses the post around those elements. If it's just hardcore horror, if it's special effects, then I'll create another group that's just special effects. It might include special effects, effects, SFX. These are the kinds of hashtags that will be included as opposed to just say filmmaking. Because filmmaking is too general or it can be too general. So it might go filmmaking, special effects, makeup. That way people searching for a hashtag or a combination of hashtags my post is more likely gonna come up if I uh, focus the post a little bit more. So I'm gonna create groups of hashtags for Minds and for Steam to best focus my posts. But say with Twitter or with Instagram or YouTube, I can put a lot more hashtags in my posts. So I can create much larger groups. 
but I've got to be careful because with say YouTube, my understanding is that YouTube um, looks at the first few hashtags and assumes that those are the primary hashtags in order to help disseminate your video to the proper channels and to the proper people, you know, to your audience. So I've got to be very careful. I've, I can create groups of YouTube hashtags, but I have to remember to put the first five or ten hashtags hyper-focused on what the video is about. And the more general or more obscure ones, I'll leave further down in the uh, tag box. So I'm going to create these groups of hashtags to help speed up sharing my posts, focusing my posts, and I will share my spreadsheet in the link down below. You can use it. Uh, hopefully it'll help your crowdfunding efforts. But this is why people say uh, it probably takes a good two or three months to get your crowdfunding up and running because you need to do this kind of legwork in order to make your campaign effective. If you don't have these things in place by the time the campaign starts, it's going to be really tedious looking for those people to share your posts with. You're going to be spending most of your time remembering these things, being very inefficient. So you've really got to put this legwork in now so that when you are crowdfunding, it's just like, oh, this is about, this is photography and it's about special effects. Boom, I've got a group for that. Uh, if, it's, if it's YouTube, I know that I can have 20 or 30 hashtags, but the first five or 10 are the ones that matter most. And it's about directing and changelings. Boom, I've got a group of hashtags for that. So it's really about, it's really about doing the legwork now so that later on during, during the crowdfunding, you're not overwhelmed trying to remember these things and keep all this straight. I'm gonna share that spreadsheet. I'll leave it on my Google Docs. A link will be down below for that. Uh, in other news, in other news, the most exciting thing happened to me today. I got a new keyboard. I got a new keyboard and I wanna share this with you because the right tools for the right job really makes a big difference when you're working. And it can be the difference between uh, a wonderful experience working and the most frustrating experience working. When I put my editing system together, I bought a solar powered keyboard. This, this keyboard right here, I've got it here, this thing. This thing's awesome, it's great, uh, but only if you have big windows. And when I was living downtown uh, in downtown Los Angeles, I had huge windows and there was never any want for sunlight. The battery would stay charged all the time, no problem. When I had to move out of downtown, uh, we came to a place in West Hollywood that is quite dark. So I'd be typing and I'd be in the middle of some, I don't know, just great moment I'm writing or I'm in the zone editing. I've got this great idea and it's boom, 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 boom. It's all coming into place and then all of a sudden I'd be, you know, I'd be working and then it would die. It would die like every 20 minutes. So being the cheap ass that I am, and it's like, well, if there's no sunlight, I will put this LED light over it. And it just happened over and over and over again. It became this huge mess where I'd have to drag the light out, hang it over the keyboard. And then I would be typing. I'm like, well, I'm sick of this light, so I'll take the light off. And I'd be typing. Mm -hmm. And then it would die. And I'd be like, every time it was like in the moment that it was about to finish or I'm about, I'm about to hit export or I'm about to just complete that great idea it would just shit on me so I got a new keyboard and this is totally geeking out right now but this thing I gotta be careful because I don't want to turn off my record I got my first gaming keyboard this thing is rad it is heavy duty this thing has that nice deep I don't know what you call it, satisfying click with every stroke. I, I can see why gamers use these keyboards. They're just really satisfying to use. They're very precise. I know exactly what button I'm going to be clicking. Unlike these very, very small buttons, um, I feel like my fingers tend to push a couple of them at the same time. It's also not a very satisfying experience. You know, writing on a little a keyboard, say with your, um, your laptop or this tiny keyboard, which is very laptop-like, I just never liked writing on it. I always really liked the old style keyboards because you know my first my first computer was a Commodore 64, and it had that delicious. It was the really heavy, heavy keys, and it would make that clack, clack, clack every time. So I've gone from this sound to let's see. I don't want to stop my recording here, so let's choose. I don't know. Let's try this. I mean, listen to that. Listen to that delicious sound. I love that sound. All right, anyways, that's it. I know that that was kind of a silly news update about the keyboard, but I have to say, I'm really looking forward to using this keyboard. 
It's not a Mac keyboard, it's a Windows keyboard. So I'm gonna have to get an application to remap the keyboard. I know that's gonna be frustrating, but hopefully once that pain is done, I'm gonna have a fun, heavy duty keyboard that'll last for something like 50 million strokes. Anyways, I'll leave a link down below to that keyboard as well. I really like it, it's only 37 bucks. Anyways, I will catch you tomorrow. Stay tuned for episode number 15 on the Changelings vlog. Please let me know if you want anything specific from this vlog, if you have any questions. I know that I need to up my game with this uh, format and I'm still looking for the right format. Right now, it's just talking to camera. It's just sort of a daily diary to sort of keep myself honest and on task. Uh, so keep an eye out for the spreadsheet below. I will put a link to the keyboard. Have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.